There you go. Uh, so we had a great event on January 15th with our uh, Toastmasters partners. Um, had several Interact Clubs represented there. I wish there were more, as always. Uh, but on January 15th, uh, Rotary District 5000, along with Toastmasters, hosted about uh, 12 to 15 students. I, it kind of, I kind of kept going back and forth between the, how many total there were. But I think Farrington, um, Waiakea, uh, Roosevelt, amongst others, were represented at this event where uh, we presented uh, on uh, 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 project leadership and project chairmanship, I guess is, is what they call it, but project leadership, project planning. I thought it was a, you know, a good event that uh, got, um, are you thinking about some uh, projects they could do this spring? I know it's hard with COVID and everything, but um, as far as I know, you know, projects are still moving forward and schools are still moving forward with it. Uh, Toastmasters did give a short presentation on what, you know, the best things of, of uh, the best characteristics of a leader, you know, leader would be how to um, come up with, you know, project plans and, and try to promote that amongst uh, uh, their uh, networks, try to get people excited about projects, what were the successful kind of components of a leader in a project. So I thought there were some really good takeaways from the event. All of this kind of culminated into a, uh, a desire for projects to submit for awards this year for youth service. And I think we've We've mentioned this on past youth service calls. The application is very simple. It still says draft right now in the one that I sent out in the email. I'll, I'll clean that up and get removed draft out of it. But as you guys are thinking about this, um, that's really all we're asking for this year is for our interact clubs, our youth clubs. Um, and this could be in middle school or high school to submit projects that they've done this year and hopefully this upcoming spring. So it's a project they haven't done haven't completed yet this year, but but will have completed soon or sometime in the next two to three months, submitted for an award. And I think um, yeah, there's not a lot of um, requirements uh, uh, for purpose. It's purposeful. We want as many you know students to apply as possible. Um, and all of this is going to be uh, recognized in a year end event on May 20th at Lani Kohunua at the district conference. And that's the that's item 3B on the agenda, the district conference event. Um, a few of us uh, will be spearheading um, some of the program aspects of this May 20th event. So that's gonna be Ryla with uh, Rick uh, Tabor and others in the Ryla committee, as well as myself for Interact. And um, we're trying to get Rotaract involved as well through uh, Ernesto, but uh, we will be holding this kind of mixer party event at the end of the year, May 20th, Friday, from 4 to 7 p.m. at Lani Ku Honua. And Nicole, yes. Thanks, Nicole, um, from our e-club. And so uh, we uh, are hard at work trying to get some of this done. I'm trying to make sure that the program um, is, uh, is kind of there and clear, but I am still looking for someone to help with some of the logistics of that event. Uh, I know uh, we're all spread very thin, but uh, if uh, someone is so inclined here to help out with the logistics, otherwise we're going to have to make this into more of a committee style um, planning thing again. And that's always hard to hard to accomplish at the at the speed that, of which we go through, but um, we'll figure out a way to make it work. Um, and so I wanted to, you know, just kind of throw that out there. Um, uh, it, it, the program is coming together. I think we need to, for folks that were, you know, worried a little bit about jumping on board about what the level of commitment was going to be. I think the goal here for us is that, you know, anyone that joins this committee to help plan this district conference event doesn't really have to worry about getting a program together. That's something I think between um, RILA, Rotaract, Interact, and HRYF, Jeff is also there too. Um, between the four of us, we'll have plenty of things to discuss at this event. Um, we'll probably, you know, start off with some project awards, introduce some HRYF awardees, introduce some RILA awardees, and maybe even tie some of the awards to the RILA projects that RILA is going to be putting together during their weekend. And then we'll have, um, you know, probably a quick intro to Rotaract as well. So the program isn't really the thing at question in my mind for this May event. It's really about how do we get the people, the students, <laughs> The volunteers we need 
and the supplies we need to Lani Kuhonua to pull this off. And, I, and the good news is that Sandy and her district conference team have really thrown us a bone here. They've done a lot of work to get this venue donated to us. We've got a budget donated to us. We've got all the pieces in place. At the end of the day, I really kind of just need someone to help me, help me and help all of us here get some of the logistics pieces in place. Like how many tables do we need? How many chairs do we need? Where's the food coming from? Where's the AV system coming from? All these things are, are you know, they seem real simple, but they're very, very important to getting, getting something done. And so hopefully uh, folks would be interested. What One other component of this May 20th event that I'm really, I'm really working hard to do is to get this done virtually as well. So our neighbor island clubs can join us. I know Jen has some Waiakea uh, interact clubs that would be more than happy to submit awards or participate in this event. <clears throat> so if we can even con you know, connect some of our outer island clubs via phone, it doesn't have to be Zoom, but if they're just patched in with the mic and to a loudspeaker, you know, that might be enough to introduce uh, our students from the neighbor islands and maybe set up a webcam where they can enjoy some of the festivities remotely. So lots to think of logistically, um, but I'm hoping that folks are, folks are willing to step up to the, the plate here and join our group. Right now, like I said, the group is really kind of me, Naomi, Nicole, Jeff, and Rick, kind of as, as your program leads right now. Um, and Brian just said he'd, he'd be happy to volunteer for the logistics help, but he's gonna be part of the technology group. And, I, and absolutely, he's gonna be part of the technology group. So there's half the logistics out the door with the, with the technology piece taken. Brian, did you wanna say something? Uh, yeah, so um, the, we, we've had a couple of uh, chats, I think mostly on, on an email thread um, that we're gonna try and really make this a, um, an event, the youth services focused event on Friday, um, make it truly island uh, statewide for all islands accessible. Um, so that's gonna involve some of the same tricks that I use for Rotary Club of Honolulu's hybrid meetings. So we're gonna try and make it as interesting as we can for folks even on the, uh, the other islands that can't make it to Alamani. So that's the plan. So I do want, <laughs> you know, if we can get some others onto the committee just to help with logistics, I think that'd be great. Um, I do want, you know, to see if anyone here wants to throw their hat in the ring here, please. <laughs> so the, the other, the other component of it, and, and Nicole just said her officers will be helping out, so that's great too. The other component of it is that was hard to, to think about for the logistics side was the transportation, trying to get students from um, who were on island on, on Oahu to get them to the site. It is a, a Friday at 4 p.m., so it's just something to think about. I guess, you know, is anybody willing to take on specific items of the planning? Like if I need help getting food, would someone, would someone be willing to be like the food chair? And then, you know, if we do need help getting tables and, uh, and chairs, would someone be willing to be the chair for doing the tables and chairs? All right. I Ryan? see. Yes, I, Naomi. Maybe we can put that on a, um, just volunteers for the committee, but um, Nicole and Ernesto have uh, worked it and Nicole's club too, I think is stepping in to help. So maybe they can um, talk about that, all of the logistics part in their separate committee. Great. So Nicole, do you want to maybe, uh, cause I, this uh, news that your officers would be helping out. Do you want to just maybe chime in a little bit about um, um, how your off, how you plan to have your officers jump in here? Um, okay, so, well, I kind of just volunteered that they were going to help, but one of my <laughs> okay. officers, the, the secretary, he actually, one of his jobs is he works with, like, he actually works the wedding venues at Lani Kuhunua, and so he does, like, the staging and stuff, so he's going to see if he can get us help with that, if we want any staging there, and um, any additional to what Brian has with technology, so we can get out with that. I'm sure I can get help with the tables and chairs as well um 
And then I told my officers that they're gonna help with like setup and clean up and they're more than willing to help with that or any sign in, um, check in tables and whatnot. Awesome, awesome. And I know my um, my uh, Roosevelt interactors would be happy to help set up and break mm -hmm. down and, and, and do some of the cleanup as well. So it sounds like we're on our way, mm -hmm. but I got a couple of folks chatting here, hopefully, uh, um, you know, if there is need from anyone in this committee, committee, we can uh, reach out to those that have been volunteering or voluntold here. <laughs> but I think we'll get, you know, with that, then um, we'll get some, we'll get some uh, good headway here on the, uh, the actual logistics planning. But I will be reaching out to some folks specifically here um, to, uh, to, to uh, join us. Um, mm -hmm. But that sounds like a plan. I know me and Ernesto wanted to talk to you more about it on Saturday at the site visit. All right. Sounds good. And so, yeah, for those, uh, those that are interested, there is a site visit. We'll, we'll be going, the committee will be going and there, uh, we'll try to report back anything else here that, uh, that, uh, uh, can help out here. All right. Um, so back to item, 3A, which was our, was kind of the first report back. I wanted to say, you know, we did have a, the January 15th webinar. We have upcoming webinars here on February, March, and April, but these are a little bit more personal related to the students, uh, focused in on uh, some of the, um, the uh, more personal finance and college uh, career stuff. So Naomi, do you want to give an update on that? Yeah, sure. So Elton, you guys all met Elton Kinoshita, right? He is the principal of the high school at Hawaii Baptist Academy as of January 1st. Yay. So he's coming from Lanai, but he did these personal finance classes before at the high school. I, I think at Campbell High School, right, Elton? But what we thought we'd do is, and, and Elton has agreed to um, help design this uh, session on personal finance in February. We're going to do budgeting managing money, uh, being a smart com consumer, banking and credit, and then investing. And um, I've asked, uh, I've reached out to Hoi, um, uh, First Hawaiian Bank to see if they would help with uh, some of the classes like banking and credit. And also if they could kick in some money for the um, prize or the award, a uh, good cash award for the Interact, um, uh, that award that we wanna give out in May, because this whole program is called Youth Empowerment Service, yes. So it kind of ties up with First Hawaiians, yes. <laughs> Hopefully they'll see that. Um, but uh, that one, I think we got pretty good with Elton, right? Elton, we're good for February, right? Yes. Yes. I'll work okay. with you on that. And then for um, the one for March and April, I did um, secure a speaker from DBED uh, who will talk about the forecast on um, uh, careers and industries in five years so that when we start off our um, sessions on uh, developing careers, um, uh, college of the colleges, different colleges at, at um, universities, that they can at least get that information of what kind of um, career paths or industries are waning or increasing in five years. Um, also working with Team Building Hawaii, uh, the head of that one is a former Rotarian, and he has um, a, a seminar on um, choices, you know, making choices, financial choices, choices in careers. And so uh, we can have a little bit of that. So that's coming along. Well, anybody who's interested in being on this committee for that, uh, for these webinar series, just put it in the chat. So just so folks are following along, it was in the email attachment as well. So thanks, Naomi, for that update. That's great news. There's a lot going on there. Um, Elton and Naomi, if you could just send me a quick blurb along with the uh, the Zoom information, I will make sure that this gets out to um, DOE, as well as um, the youth service chairs that are not on this meeting. But um, we'll, you know, we'll have about, we have about, it's on February 19th. So we're gonna do our best to, you know, manage that with Junior Ryla that day. <laughs> but um, we're gonna do ours in the afternoon at 2 p.m. So Junior Ryla will be in the morning. This will be in the afternoon. Um, and uh, it's gonna be a rotary heavy day, but we'll get it done. and. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll make sure that goes out to uh, our DOE friends too. So anyone have any questions on the webinars coming up? So 
Sandy. I just want to make sure. So we're no longer going to do the one with UH, right? Just to confirm. Yeah. So we, okay. but those aren't those aren't off the table. We want we want to have them back in the fall, likely. Yeah. Okay. I'll let him those know. Were, those were better suited for the fall. I think the ones with the UH one were related to like the application process. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Ray. So again, you know, we're looking at, you know, the February 19th, this, this is all on that Word document, the leadership in action uh, I mean, PDF document that was in the, in the email here. <clears throat> February 19th, 2 p.m., personal finance, and then March 19th, Saturday, 2 p.m., starting off the college um, webinars as well. All right, um, so we talked about the May 20th event. This is all kind of gearing us up towards this May 20th event, the awards as well, um, the, the Youth Empowerment Service Project Awards form, that's also been attached to that email. Um, with that, um, I want to pass it off to the HRYF. Oh. Hey, sorry, oh, sorry. Uh, Ryan, can I add, yep. uh, you know, for that award, Toastmasters has offered to give, an, uh, put in another award because with the, um, to, to submit, you've got to do a video and that's that um, public speaking kind of thing. So they're going to be rating on public speaking. They give the award on public speaking. So anybody who, who has money in their club or their company that wants to kick in some money for um, cash awards for the projects. So the award is based on um, the club's um, executing and planning a project. So if if anybody wants to put in some money, that'll be a great, great incentive for the uh, clubs to um, submit awards, su submit their videos. So is this um, the clubs would be supporting their individual Interact clubs as applicants, or is this kind of going into a pot for the end of the year district-wide? <laughs> It, it could be either way. If the, if the club only okay. wants to give to that um, club, then their club, that's fine. But if they want to throw it in for uh, the big pot, then that's great. So it's not, so Toast, so just correct me if I'm wrong again, but Toastmasters has a prize for the awardee at the end of the year for this, this yes project. We're hoping Bank of Hawaii, I mean, first one, first one. sorry. <laughs> First line bank will be chipping into, and then um, as well as uh, if any of the individual clubs want to donate towards this project uh, fund at the end of the year, then um, we'd be uh, more than happy to uh, accept your donations. <laughs> so please, um, those two on the, you know on these webinars and this award, please please get your get the word out, you know. This is only as successful as all of us really spreading the word amongst our clubs, our active interact clubs, our interactive. Maybe this is a way to get an interactive interact club back to being active. You know, use these opportunities to build up our relationships with our youth clubs um, as much as possible. So um, please, please spread the word. All right, with that, I'm gonna pass it off to Jeff on HRYF. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, just to let you know, we did have a successful uh, uh, youth protection training, official training with uh, Pete Evans on the 15th. We had about 32 uh, representatives from all the clubs, so I was really appreciative of uh, the turnout. Uh, again, the applications are due February 1st. Um, don't worry if you don't get any, because you'll probably get a whole bunch last week. I know uh, Milani Sunrise has a few, and I've, I've got one so far at the Waiwa Waiwa Rotary Club. Uh, the big thing is uh, I'll be working, of course, with, with Brian and, and the team regarding the uh, awards uh, at the district event. But the main thing is this year, there's gonna be a big turnover of, of board directors. So if anybody is interested in uh, becoming a part of the board, uh, I'll be sending out further information on the, uh, our, our HOF bulletin number five, which will be coming out in a couple of days. Uh, and we'll, we'll have the contact information there. Also, I'll be contacting a, a, a couple of the area reps from, from Maui, uh, the Big Island and Kauai to be a part of the nomination committee, nominating committee. So I wanna make sure we have a, a good representation from the, uh, the neighbor islands. So just be on the lookout for that. And uh, again, thanks. Uh, thank you everybody for your support. You've given to HRY this past year. We, we're doing really good, really good contribution wise. So we really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Question Jeff, for Linda. Yeah, yes. Linda. Do you, do you have a, a date yet for area interviews? <laughs> You know, I'm going. That's that's up to the area coordinators. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I, I, in that um, in that uh, 
bulletin, I'll go ahead and put out the timeline so you, have, you exactly know what's going on when things are due and when uh, the, uh, the uh, applications at the area and the club level have to be submitted to the, the uh, office. So okay, the thank you. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll be a timeline for you folks. Thank you. Coming up quickly because I think uh, I think our area interviews are at the end of February, so yeah. that means we have all the club interviews have to be done before then. Yeah, yeah. and then of course you have Ryla. And of course we have Ryla. So with that, who's Which from our good. Ryla group is gonna be uh, presenting today? Yeah, Rick. Rick uh, paid me today to say that. <laughs> all right. I guess Rick said that. All right, Rick. You want to talk about Ryla? Call you, Rick. All right. I'll, I'll do a little Ryla. So we're coming up. Less than three weeks away, uh, we have 75 kids signed up as of just this moment for the 100 that we're doing. Um, made some contacts and blew it up big time. So it's been going out. Uh, I saw an article on Kauai, actually, that was uh, posted. Did, did you initiate that, Sandy? <laughs> it's a nice article. Um, so we, we've, um, as of today, I've, I've confirmed um, Nainoa Thompson again. Um, so he actually has set a video date. Punahou is going to record a video. He's actually sailing off on, is that the Hokulea behind you there, uh, Lynn? He's going to be sailing off on the Hokulea on February 1st. So January 31st, he's going to do a recording. And part of his Polynesian uh, Voyager Society is going to um, introduce it and be there for questions afterwards. I'm really excited. Just, we've been, I've been working on this for a long time, but finally today got a, an actual recording date. I was getting a little nervous. So we're getting a little close, a little close to this, but pull that off. Uh, Connie Lau is going to present. I had a wonderful conversation with her on uh, on Friday. She's funny. She's really good people. So we're gonna we're gonna try to make it a talk story kind of uh, thing um, for the youth. She's got some talking points to work on and some questions around all of that. So I'm just just saying this is going to be a very unique uh, virtual experience for the youth. We've got some real power hitters um, that are doing the presenter. Lila Berg's uh, all set to do peacemaker stuff. Uh, um, uh, which is, uh, you know, is always great. So Sandy's going to do some stuff around the four-way test and, and uh, um, our uh, areas of focus, uh, which the projects will be uh, centered around. Um, I'm hoping the kids that come this year, I'm, I'm confident that they're going to be same as what we had last year because their presentations just knocked it out of the park because we are tying in some of this award stuff and trying to see if we can get these projects to be carried on past Ryla. Last year, they just kind of stopped. They did these wonderful presentations and then we couldn't get anything from them after that. Right, Brian? <laughs> so with all, all our effort. Uh, Brian and uh, Josh Laguna are gonna be uh, doing, they're heading up uh, the, the technical side and we're, we're asking for six youth to help with that. I think we're coming along with that. But if you do know youth that wanna join us and help with that, right? Uh, we could use that, their, their expertise. So that would be another good thing. Uh, February 5th, that's a Saturday. Nine o'clock, we're gonna gather at my house and we're gonna get these survival, I'm calling them survival swag bags, but they like to call them survival uh, boxes. Uh, we're gonna get them out to the youth. It's gonna have some stuff that they can use during the camp, um, but then there's also goodies in there uh, to kind of survive, uh, to break things up for them. But we're gonna deliver them on Saturday the 5th. Um, we could still use maybe some volunteers to help with that. Um, so we'll zero in on that pretty quick as to what that looks like. because That's going to come up pretty fast. 95% um, of the box uh, stuff is here to be sent out to us. And then we'll get them out to the youth. We're going to do, um, I don't know if you know this, but we did, we do food. So we were doing pizzas last year virtually. And we had a lot of people running around delivering them. But we're going to do it differently this year. We're actually going to just uh, internet order it for them. Um, so we'll, we'll just gift and have it, uh, the, the youth can go pick it up or it, it can be delivered or whatever that is. We're not going to be running around doing that. So that's one less task that we have to do. Um, so we'll set that up that way. Um, and then we've got our, um, we got our alakai and we got our, uh, our youth facilitators. I think we're pretty much set on that, but wouldn't hurt if somebody wanted to volunteer to be a backup. Um, Lynn is one of the one of the alakai. But if somebody wants to be, uh, so, uh, we got most of the team on here. I see <laughs> Sandy, Lynn, Jen, Mary, Brian. Um, so everybody's here. Um, you guys, is there anything I've missed? So we're just less than three weeks away. We can use, we could use some more youth. I will let you know, um, I had Mike Latham, he's a member at Rotary Club of Honolulu and he's one of the presenters. So he's pre president of Punahou. So I've had them put it out to Punahou. So it's been being advertised. That's a lot of students. Um, so I, I think it's gonna fill up pretty quick. If you have other students that you'd like to get in, now would be a good time. 
to get them in. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks. So um, just question? one quick thing, Rick, I yeah. put into the uh, chat, but for anybody who's not paying attention to the chat, we are going to be oh, live streaming yeah. the pr uh, project presentations on Sunday. So mm -hmm. presumably that information will go out at some point in any uh, Rotary clubs who want to see what kids they're paying for or doing on this Ryla thing. That's an opportunity for you guys to see that. Well, let me, let me on that so that what's going to happen first thing in the morning, Benson's going to do the chant and we're going to have Patty doing uh, um, hula as he's singing and then we're going to go into the youth doing their projects and each each of the 10 ohanas are going to have 10 minutes to present their projects which uh, again last year man they just hit it out of the park you want to see that because uh, see that you're getting your money's worth and then after that we're going to have a short graduation and then uh, Henry Capono is going to come on and do a concert um, so we'll have five concerts and again Patty will dance to a couple of those songs also and we'll close close out with that so Haumea Ho is one of our Rotary Club of Honolulu members and uh, she happens to be his manager. And I saw him recently at a friendship jam for best buddies and uh, asked them if they would uh, uh, perform for us. And they said, yes. So, so that's how we're gonna finish it. So it'd be great if you come. So it'd be, it's, for, it's open for Rotarians, the parents and, uh, and teachers, uh, whoever wants to. So we'll, yeah, it'll be on, on Facebook, right? We're gonna set up a live stream that you can just watch it from there. And then we'd love your feedback yep. also. Um, uh, and hopefully then the following year, we're hoping to go forward and do this as a hybrid kind of way so we can continue to be statewide because that statewide piece has been just really remarkable. I'm gonna tell you something that, that I heard, now I've heard from a couple of uh, uh, teachers, they've said that, or uh, even students, they've said that the, 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 their experience with the um, live Ryla, you know, is really fun, um, which of course, Josh did, did, did the last one that we actually were able to do. But the shot, um, they've come to the uh, uh, virtual one also, and they actually report they learn more in the virtual one. So I think they might have had more fun in the live one, but learn more than the virtual one. And I'm going to leave you with that because I'm just saying the world's changed. We've moved into a whole different realm. So I think we're going to be hybrid going forward. So there you go. That's all I have to say. Thanks. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> Rick gave, uh, gave me a little bit of a, a, a promo on the... Um, program uh, this past weekend or this past weekend. Uh, they've got a lot, a lot of great things coming up. Um, so Rick, it, it seems like there's still spots available, but they're going to fill up quickly. Right? I think they will at this point because it's they're really coming in fast right now. And this yeah. is what this, this generation is what it is anyway with this generation. They're, they're the, they, they, they sign up at the last minute. <laughs> oh, and Ryan and Jeff are actually going to present also. So they're going to talk about all of the Rotarian uh, programs that are available to youth. So if they're not already involved with, with Rotary, by the time they finish the trial, they're going to know everything they need to know about us, right? So, Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, right? All right. Um, so just, you know, make sure you're spreading the words. Uh, you know, spots are filling up quickly. They've got a great program, a lot of great, um, you know, speakers and uh, entertainment and a lot of things going on. So um, it's coming up quickly. So are you at some point, are you going to stop accepting applications? Rick. So once we're, so the first hundred that are in, that's who we're taking. That's how this All is right. going to work. That's Everybody good. that comes in after will be be waitlisted um, because we also have folks at last minute that things come up, right? So yeah. yeah and I'll just chime in real quickly. And yeah, this thanks, is mostly Jeff. because of the t-shirt orders have already been placed. The cost of the survival kits and all the items have yeah. already been secured and almost ready to go out to the participants. So we would love lots and lots, but can have yeah. some getting and some yeah. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we, we mix it up. So all the different islands are all included in Ohana. So there's 10, 10 youths in Ohana, right? So yeah, we got we to gotta start, you know, we got to make that happen already. So yeah. So. Great. And I'm really excited about the project development component of Ryla this, you know, this year, especially with the awards going on, you know, I think it's a great segue for um, something that comes up in Ryla and, and they generate the ideas in Ryla for them to put the, the action, you know, put the service project yeah. in action. So it's yeah. a real, it's a real good time for that. So thanks for, thanks for doing that. All right. Any questions for Ryla? All right. Well, we've got junior Ryla too. Joanne, yes. yes, you do. I'm um, putting into the the chat um, some information that as you if any of you have ever worked with middle school kids you know that um, 
they need a lot of hand holding and there's actually it's up to the advisors to really get the kids to sign up of course right now things are very slow and i'm like you know i have what's called butt pucker moments on this time <laughs> with not a lot of it sign up so i'm going to ask you as ones that work with kids if any of you work with middle school kids if you have a direct contact information for a middle school advisor please just send me that contact i'm going to personally send an email and and the invitation and the application everything to them personally and keep respectfully nagging them to get kids to sign up that's what you really have to do with middle school kids. It really has to come from the advisors. It's not anything that that will come straight from a kid. So if you know of a, I have about 30 contacts uh, statewide, and I have sent a lot of you some of the blurbs that I send out every week. As a matter of fact, you'll probably get more information. Get it tomorrow. The respectful nagging, I call it. Um, so that's my my request for you. If you know middle school advisors or somebody in a middle school that works with kids, send me their contact information and I'm going to start flooding them with Junior Riley information so that we can get it filled. Um, we, we had 57 kids last year. I want to beat that. And the only way I can do that is reaching out to the middle school advisors. The state area uh, coordinator for the student activity directors has promoted both high school and middle school, Ryla, to all the activity directors. She's going to continue to do the middle school ones. And um, Rick, if you need her to do some more promo for high school, she will. But otherwise, I'm going to push her on for the middle school um, to keep flooding them. With okay, Thanks, uh, Joanne. Yeah, so she's really supportive. Joanne? Uh, somebody, yes, uh-huh. Yes. Um, I just wrote to the principal of Milani Middle School, uh -huh. and she said that she's going to forward the information for Minnie oh, Rada to the, SAC, to the Student Activities Coordinator. Yes, yes. So if and, you write to the principals, just forward, have them forwarded to the SAC. And that is what I'm doing. I am, okay, I am communicating, because I am a DOE employee. I have access mm -hmm. to email address. Okay. And it's simple, so, yeah. Yeah, as an employee. But um, I, Tiffany Frias is doing it, and and I'm, I'm reaching out to principals too. But if you personally, if you know somebody in a middle yeah. school that works with middle school kids, either if they're just a teacher, like Elton, yeah, I used to go after you for Lanai all the time. Now I'm after you for HBA. You're, you're not off the hook yet, Elton. <laughs> and so um, we could use a few more facilitators. I have 10 already. And um, we have smaller groups with the middle school kids. And in the chat there, you, you go to the, um, to the link and uh, you just go all the way down at the bottom. It says to sign up to be a volunteer facilitator, click here. And that's all you have to do. And there's a real quick, short. Jen, I got yours um, already. And I have a lot of former Ryla kids that are facilitating too. So that's my, my spiel. The more information we get out to the middle school staff members, the more kids will sign up. So I appreciate your help. So just a reminder too, is that thanks to everyone's donations, Junior Ryla is free to any student that wants to go. And then thanks to all of our donations as well. <clears throat> Anyone who applies to Ryla will likely get sponsored, hopefully for their $100 cost to attend, but that's $100 well spent. So thanks everyone. All right, any questions for Joanne? Again, she's still looking for volunteers for Zoom room facilitators. The links are in the chat. Any questions for Joanne on Junior Ryla? Oh, we're, we're coming up, man. You know, so basically Ryla is coming up here on the 11th to the 13th of February. Junior Ryla is the following weekend. Um, on the uh, 19th, we have our first, our, well, not our first, but our financial um, literacy webinar on the 19th. We've got more webinars in March on the 19th. And then in April, again, coming up, we want everyone to go get those awards, get their interact clubs, applying for awards and uh, HROF is happening somewhere and all of that too. So <laughs> a lot coming up, um, May 20th, again, we're shooting for May 20th. I mean, we're actually, we're, we're gonna have our May 20th event um, at Lani Kuhonua with uh, the, the help of Ryla, HROF, 
Interact and Rotaract and uh, the E-Club here. So 611, we did get through the agenda pretty quickly. Um, on the rest of these upcoming events, you know, I think uh, there'll be time for um, some updates on these later. Um, I know that Young Professionals Group and the Youth Mentorship Proposal through Tiara, um, Evans and the Eco Club, that's, those are still ongoing. Um, we still have some partnerships we're working through on some other, other things that are kind of in the works, but, but trying to focus in on the things that you know, need, need our attention the most here. So I don't have any updates on, on the, uh, these other uh, upcoming events. Um, in terms of Interact and, and, and Rotaract, then, is, are any clubs doing projects out there that they want to share, you know, uh, things that have been positive, things that have been challenges, things they want this committee to address? Um, you know, I know uh, for, uh, I'll just start off with Roosevelt, you know, they did a couple of projects over uh, December, um, and they're looking to do another project here coming up in uh, uh, January, they're hoping to do a, a beach cleanup here uh, at Malama Bonalua and Bonalua Bay on the east uh, side of Oahu. Uh, some algae cleanup, something they can do outdoors, uh, do it while they're socially distant. Uh, so I know, you know, at least Roosevelt's, they haven't, they haven't completely shut the door on this uh, either. And then I know Mid Pacific is also doing a, a couple of projects that I'm trying to, they're a little less. Uh, connected to me, but um, I'm supposed to be their advisor. But uh, <laughs> I know they do. They do things. Um, they're doing some things this spring as well. So, um, anyone have uh, interact projects or uh, rotaract projects they want to share? I see Jay has his hand raised. Well, I'm glad to say um, we've been trying to get uh, interact uh, in the middle school at uh, Kihei Charter. We got the charter for them. You know that we did. We, last week we had their first meeting. We expected only four students and nine showed up and they all were very, very enthusiastic. Um, we talked about projects that they wanna do and that they have to elect officers and everything else. We're gonna be meeting with them weekly uh, until they get going and, and doing their own thing. Um, we were challenged by the amount of time we were allotted, which is a half an hour but the other half hour right after that is lunch. So we decided we're gonna bring a couple of pizzas in and we can make it a full hour uh, for a meeting because a half an hour would be just a little too short. Uh, and Joanne and I'm gonna see about getting them in junior Isla right away. Pfizer, uh, <laughs> the teacher, is a former uh, intern. So, I think we really have a good thing going. She was very enthusiastic and I just hope it takes off the way it's, it keeps going the way it started to take off, so. Awesome. Get them to do some projects this, uh, this spring. Oh, they thought of projects already. Yep, great. Oh. All right, Mike. Yeah, just one quick piece. Um, I'm, I'm with the Rotary Club at Hilo Bay. Several of our members are have been in the faculty of UH Hilo. So this weekend I was contacted, and uh, so they still had all the residual items from the Rotaract Club at UH Hilo. Um, as you all know, since March of 2020, the, the whole university has gone virtual. Everyone has graduated. All the officers are, are out in grad school. So I, I went today and signed for everything. I have a couple tentative points of contact in the university once things settle down and they get back in person. So our club will hold their funds until we can reform the Rotaract Club at UH Hilo. Um, and we were the sponsor to get them set up in the first place. So we, we will work to get them back up. But even as of this week, the, the folks looked at me and said, yeah, we're, we're not even sure if we're gonna quit virtual in the next month. So. So anyway, we, we've taken stewardship for that. Um, I'm in contact with two of the, the former officers that are still on the Big Island, and, and we're, I'll try and work with them for a plan for how to set it back up once they can get back in person. That's good news. And, um, you know, as, yeah, as soon as you can get those forms together and make sure they, they get to Rotary International, great, great news. Alan. Yeah, a comment and a question. Uh, the uh, Mike, I, I just remembered when you were starting to talk that uh, that Rotaract Club is sponsored by the five East Hawaii Rotary Clubs. 
And so you might want to consider how to do that and to get all five. But anyway, the quick question is uh, based upon what Rick said, is the future plan to have RILA centralized or, or you know, for, when we did RILA here on the Big Island live, it was very, very different from the program that you had on Oahu. And in my opinion, uh, what we did was the live was a lot more educational than uh, what you were doing on Oahu. So I, I don't follow, I mean, I don't agree with the live being- Yeah, live. I don't, Alan, we're not planning on, we're not planning on imposing a statewide mandate on how RILA needs to go on every, every island. Um, we've done it as a collective thing the last two years, sort of out of necessity, and it's really worked well. We've got a really good statewide committee, and, and as Rick mentioned, we're hoping that going forward, there can be some statewide component that can be coordinated across the programs. But once we're back in person, y'all are on your own. You can do what you want to do. We'll do what we okay. want to do, you know. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. We're, we're not going communist on you or anything. <laughs> but 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 I would I would take issue with the educational component. I think we've remained quite educational. So maybe different, but uh, and it's been statewide. So this has been directed by statewide. We've got some incredibly uh, brilliant folks that have been doing this for a very long time that have put a lot into making this be Ryla the way Ryla is. So I'm just yeah. going to take a little issue with that because I put I happen to be the program person here, so I put a lot into it this year. Last year was a pretty remarkable program because we had a lot of youth that were doing the program, and that was pretty magical too. So it does take on a little bit of life of its own, depending on how you do it. So this is a joint effort that we've we've this this team has been together for two years now. You know, so we've put a lot into it, and we've taken a lot of input from folk, and we've got some people that are very seasoned that have been a part of Ryla for far longer than I have. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. I was trained in by Jeff though. <laughs> uh, Jen, Jen's got her mentors and we've all got our mentors. And um, this, this Ryla thing is uh, it's really pretty remarkable what's happened here. Yeah, so. Okay, I, I, I'll, uh, I, if it's happened in the last three years then I can understand that, um, that perceptually you know, we're different on that because uh, beyond three years ago, we got involved with the uh, Oahu Ryla and compared it to the one that we had here and uh, it was very different. And so anyway, uh, we're, we're, we're yeah. in two different two time zones. Thank you very much. Yeah, Sandy. And, and I just want to, <clears throat> excuse me, add in, Alan, we're trying really hard to learn from those of the members of the team that we're a part of like, especially the neighbor island Rylas, because the styles that you folks use and the curriculum you use was so well done. We're trying to interface and integrate it too. So we, we, it's not totally lost. It's just the in-person thing that we've just kind of lost for a little while and trying to make up for it yeah, with the virtual. So thank you. All right, thanks. Thanks, Sandy. All right, any other? Yeah, Jen, Jen, Jen and Tim, sorry, Ryan, I just want to say oh. Jen and Tim over on the Big Island, they've been keeping us honest. <laughs> Speaking of Big Island, I just wanted to report Waikia Interact. We're in the process of doing pen pal letters to Hiroshima and hope to one day do a joint service project once this COVID goes away. And they um, are also looking to do a beach cleanup when they're allowed. So they are busy planning and they're also uh, trying to get their officers for next year going. So yay. Very important piece of that, you know, transition planning is is making sure your advisors are, are up to date and they're going to continue next year and making sure you have your officers set up for next year as well on your interact club side so everyone should be should be hard at work <laughs> working with those interact clubs Jen does a great job. Um, you know, just get those uh, get those officers thinking about next year already, and 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 I know we're trying to get them to submit an award for this year, but you know we're always we're always on the clock with them, so we just need to we just need to keep pushing. So, anyone else? Hi, this is uh, Clarence from um, hey. Pearl Ridge Rotary Club. Aloha. Hey, good job, all you guys. I just wanted to report that uh, like Pearl City High School and. Highlands Intermediate, which feeds into it, and our Savior Lutheran, and we're working on uh, reviving Aia High School 
and then add something to it to meet it. But we've been working on the the bike path, Pulo bike path, the the uh, Pulo Springs, and then uh, we're looking at helping the fish pond that's there. And I know Buck Thompson visited us uh, in 2017 with his Hokulea came right into Pearl Harbor and honored our kupunas from that uh, at that uh, place on the corner of the first fish pond there. So we're looking at that. We did on December 7th, um, uh, service pro our service project was to go to the Peace Bell that was uh, donated from Hiroshima and Nagasaki and donated to the city. And we did a ceremony there where we read the, the peace poem that was in the plaque on the ground in Japanese original and then uh, translated, uh, had someone read it in English. So we provided that. We hope next year we can make uh, a little bigger, but it was pretty rainy that day, if you remember, December 7th. And we did that because a lot of our kids wanted to participate somehow in the Interact Club, but we couldn't get on to Pearl Harbor. So uh, we got permission to do it at the Peace Bell. So that was, that was really special for all the kids. But we're trying to stay active and do more and uh, not get zoomed out, uh, zoomed out, tired, <laughs> as some of the high school kids are saying. But uh, thanks, good job, guys. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you, Clarence. It, you know, it is, it is. Zoom fatigue is real. So getting outdoors, getting those kids outdoors, doing projects, it's great, great uh, things. Um, but we're gonna do what we need to do to reach them, you know, on all, on all platforms. Um, with, uh, with that, you know, I think it's important, you know, just it, rotary, uh, you know, rotary, uh, Rotarians at Work Day is coming up in April. <laughs> so hopefully your clubs are also planning projects that you can invite your youth to. So try to make, you know, if you can get a joint project together, uh, try to do something like that. You know, I, I also, you know, if you have, like, just like uh, Clarence mentioned, if you have, um, you know, Pearl Highlands and uh, Pearl City and IA clubs starting up, you know, if you have your rotor, your Interact Club starting up, use this award, project awards process as a way to get them thinking about doing a project. Because really the ultimate goal for, for me really and, and all of us kind of here is, is we should just be wanting the kids to be out there in the community and doing doing community service projects or learning or or doing something to you know expand their perspective and horizon so i you know if that could just be a, my you know another plug for this uh project awards thing we're doing here for for this spring please please try to get those that information that application out to them all right anyone else have any other updates So I know that was a lot to take in for for today. Brian, um, did you want to? Um, I had on here to remind to remind myself about their, the four way essay uh, test or speech contest. Yeah, so I'm glad that you uh, took a side trip into that. I have uh, actually just very recently kind of reassessed all of the stuff that I have on my plate and all of the things that are going on in youth services sort of all over. And I realized that uh, I, I'm gonna drop something on the floor if I don't set something down gently. And uh, given that we only had a couple of folks kind of actively reach out uh, to uh, follow up on that, I think that's the thing I'm gonna set down gently for this year. And I'm gonna take the money we had allocated to that for our club and give it to other projects. Um, uh, and then, We'll try it again next year, I think is what I'm going to do. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think, you know, we all feel that way. We got to really put our effort into the things that, that are going to, that are going to, um, you know, going to need Yeah, like attention. I said, better to set it down <laughs> gently than to drop it on the floor and have everybody be looking at the pieces very sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finding similar choices ahead of me too. So I appreciate the honesty and the, and the, um, the feedback here and letting let everyone know. So, all right. Um, well, with that, um, without any other announcements here, I'm gonna let folks go five minutes early and uh, get uh, get those RILA applications in, get those HRIF applications in, get those students going with projects, get uh, you know, get these, get Junior Ryla and Ryla publicized. Uh, find some volunteers for Joanne and the, and the Zoom facilitators. Uh, we're gonna get all these things done in the next um, uh, six months because, wouldn't you know it, Sandy? We have awards coming up too for <laughs> youth services that she's gonna share with your club president. So, 
we've got a lot of things and a lot of things to, that we're doing well in and we're going to get them done in the next uh, a few months here. So, hey, that, hey Ryan, Steve, sorry. Yeah. I know we got a couple of minutes. Sorry, everybody. But since we have Jeff here, Jeff, can you give us a, an update? You know, remember last year, HRYF applications were way down. How's it looking so far this year? You're muted, Jeff. Yeah, actually, they were not down. We, we received uh, 276 applications last year. So um, that was pretty good. And right now, there's no way of knowing how much we're going to re receive until after February 1st because local status, last minute, all these applications come flying in. Okay, thanks. Yeah, but last year we did pretty good actually, 276. Okay. But as a reminder, that's a good reminder, um, Steve and, and Jeff, is that if if we if clubs want to move applications between clubs, you need the parents and the students' permission to do so. You cannot do so without without that this year. Yep. Thank you for that. It'll be in the in the bulletin number five. Yeah. As a reminder. All right, let's get to it. All right, thanks everyone. I'll be reaching out to folks that um, wanted uh, to join in on some of the planning going on, but appreciate everyone's assistance and everyone, thank you again so much for your hard work. All right. Okay, good night. Good night. Aloha. Aloha. Thanks, Ryan. Good seeing everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Aloha. Good job, Brian. thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, you had a you had something you wanted to ask. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good. San, uh, sorry, no, we're fine. <laughs> we'll talk later. Okay. Thanks.